Right, this is question 20, have a go. Okay, so with this first bit, we've got to factorise this. We're basically, a pair of brackets when we're factorising a quadratic, x being the first term, because obviously x times x is x squared. And then really, we've got to work out these two, what I call magic numbers, these two numbers here. Now, these two numbers have to multiply to be this plus 27, the number on the end on its own. So multiply, they add up to 27, but also added, they've got to be the coefficient of x, so the minus 12. So over on the side, just write this down. So two numbers that multiply equal this, but add to equal this. Then work through the various combinations, the various whole numbers that times together to make 27, and then just see if any of them actually work for adding up to minus 12 as well, and you'll get these two numbers. So our pair of brackets is x minus 9, x minus 3. And if you were to multiply that out, if you were to do FOIL on that, you get back to this. Now for part B, this is much quicker. We're really saying that if we just turn this expression into an equation, so it's now equaling naught, um, and solve it. So basically, we factorise the left-hand side, which we've already done, to get this. And then we've got two things being times together. Something times something equaling naught. Now, naught times whatever is naught. So how do we make both brackets naught? Well, for this first bracket, how do we make this naught? Well, x would be 9. How do we make the second bracket naught? Well, x would be 3. So there are our two solutions. So basically, in short, we're just our two magic numbers with the sign reversed. Now, for part B, I think it's best just to learn this. If you get one where you've got y squared minus a square number, when you factorise this, you get y, pl you pl y plus the square root, y minus the square root. The only way one like this can come up is if you've got y squared minus a square number. There is a longer explanation, but I think it's just best just to learn it. So, you get one like this, it's going to be y plus 10, y minus 10. Had it been y squared minus 64, it would be y plus 8, y minus 8. 